So guys, today's video is going to be about the all-new GTX 560 Ti, but this is a other more different, slightly more better GTX 560 Ti limited edition 448 core GTX 560 Ti that also uses the GF110 core, which is actually the same core that gets used in the GTX 570, not the same processing core that gets used in the original GTX 560 Ti. So uh, what we're doing here is we're actually doing a couple of things. We're adding Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to the test suite. So I'm showing you guys the benchmark run that I'll be using. So it's two minutes at the beginning of the game, which is pretty straightforward because you just fight your way through the streets. This is pretty representative of the kind of action you're going to see in this and any other Modern Warfare game. As far as I can tell, they're all pretty samey. So, you know, you point the thing at the thing and then the guy fall down. That kind of, that kind of action. You point the thing kind of approximately at the thing and then the guy falls down, as far as I can tell. I think that grenade went off, but didn't the animation didn't show, so the guy went flying forward. That's terrific. <laughs> These guys are on my team. So in order for to keep some sort of level of consistency, I'm just going to kind of fight from here beside the truck for a little while, so you guys can kind of see what we're going for here, shoot some dudes. Wow, oh, press 3 to toggle dual scope. I'm not going to do that because that's not going to help me uh, benchmark more consistently. So let's try to shoot this guy. I missed him. Slick's actually a better gamer than I am, but I do the benchmarking because, yeah, he's not allowed to do benchmarking. He gets all intense. He's all like, headshot! And I'm like, yeah, they're bots. You know, don't worry about it. And he's all like, whatever, man! No, I'm kidding. That's not how it went down. So yeah, we're just going to kind of stand around here and fight for a little bit. Oh, I'm hurt. Got to get to cover, yo. That'll make me feel better. Woo! Oh, really? Oh, yay! It's done! Okay. So, pretty much that is going to be our Modern Warfare 3 benchmark. We're actually only going to be testing the 560 Ti 448 against... Where the heck is it? The regular GTX 560... or 570... Uh, GTX 570. And that is going to tell us how it compares. Because spec-wise, it's very similar to the 570. Except it's shorter, so you can see Zotac's card is shorter. Actually includes, uh, here, come over here, come over here, this is important. So Zotac's implementation of the 448 core limited edition 550 Ti, 560 Ti actually includes two DVI, a full-size HDMI, and display port, whereas a regular GTX 570 includes two DVI and one mini HDMI. So that's a pretty cool implementation. It's actually surprisingly quiet. It's not very loud at all, and it's significantly shorter than a 570, so if you have a smaller case, that actually might help. Although, I see those PCIe connectors are coming off of the back, so you're only going to gain about an extra this much or so versus a regular GTX 570. The prices are similar, but uh, yeah, let's find out how these two cards actually perform against each other. So, while I don't necessarily agree with NVIDIA's naming scheme of calling it a GTX 560 Ti 448 core because I think it might be more accurate to call it something like a GTX 565. It definitely does fall into its intended place. Um, it's pretty late, so we only did a couple benchmarks on this guy, but pretty much we've got the 560 Ti in Full Crisis 2. We couldn't get Battlefield 3 launched, and then when we finally did get it launched, our save games were gone, so we went with Modern Warfare 3. So you can basically see it's anywhere from a 5 to 10% difference in performance. Remember guys, we're testing two cards here, the 560 Ti 448 and the 570, that are literally identical in terms of their frame buffer, the actual chip that they are using, they're the same architecture, the same driver. So this pretty much gives us an idea of what kind of a performance difference we can expect at all high settings at 1080p between these two cards. So if you're shopping for a 560 Ti 448 versus a GTX 570, hopefully this gives you some idea of what you're looking at. So anywhere between 5 to 10% less expensive is what I would expect from a GTX 560 Ti 448, and I think that's pretty much it. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos, and I hope you enjoyed our, however, brief coverage of the GTX 560 Ti 448 core from Zotac. And big thanks to Zotac for making this possible.